Hello and uh, welcome to Brompton Traveller and I would like uh, to send a special thank you to all those that have been commenting on my videos. Uh, this is really what motivates me to keep the channel going, so I really appreciate them. Today I would like to show you and review the Nash Rack bag. It's an interesting touring bag that I was recently sent by the guys at Vincita. And Vincita is a company based in Bangkok uh, who specializes in producing quality bags and accessories for the Brompton. Uh, I've included their link below so you can check out the range of bags and products that they offer. This particular bag weighs a kilo and a half and has a capacity of uh, 12 liters. So let me show you what you get with this bag. The material is a dense cordura, which is reinforced by a stronger canvas at the bottom. And this is in order to protect the most vulnerable parts of the bag. So I think this is a clever uh, design idea. As you can see, it has a Velcro padded handle, uh, which can easily be open and it's uh, it's a nice padding, so it makes it easier for you to carry it. And it's got YKK zippers. So let's have a look inside the bag. So first thing that you will find um, is the click fix uh, leaflet, which shows you how to mount it uh, on the rack. So there's some clear instructions here, and there's even a measure which helps you uh, gauge the width that you need uh, according to the rack you have. Next, uh, we have a rain cover. We have a shoulder strap and a couple of uh, plastic levers like these, which are used to fix the bag uh, to the bike when you want to leave it unattended. As far as the mounting system is concerned, it is produced by ClickFix, which is a German company that has a good reputation for reliability and has a produced attachment system for bicycle bags for over 30 years. It is easily adjusted by loosening uh, these four screws and sliding uh, these two parts to match the width of your rack. It can also be fitted on V-shaped racks. Once adjusted, it can be quickly fixed to and removed from your rack by simply closing and opening uh, these two levers. Once removed, uh, it turns into a normal bag that can be carried on your shoulder uh, with a strap I just showed you. Now, if you move to the main compartment, uh, uh, it has uh, is just a plain uh, rectangular shape and uh, it has a padded insert uh, which can actually be removed. So if you, don't, if you don't need to be careful with the things that you're carrying, uh, it gives you slightly more space in the bag. So we can remove uh, this part. But what is unique about the Nash Rack bag are the two uh, extra side compartments, uh, which are kind of like thin panniers. Uh, that can be opened by undoing these two zippers here. And they have a slanted uh, design here uh, that makes sure that you have enough clearance when pedaling. So all in all, it looks like a very, very well made and thought through bag. So now let's uh, take it uh, for a good test and a ride outside. Here I'm using the bag without the panniers and as you can see it is very quick to release the two levers and to remove it. If you then want to carry it you simply attach the shoulder strap and you're ready to go. To show you an example of what you can hold in the bag I'm putting the bundle of clothes that I usually carry while touring so that goes in. Next go the box with all my tools. Here I put my power bank and all the cables I need for recharging my gadgets. The bag with my toiletries that I'm still left with a little space. If you open the pannier, here I could put a pair of zippers, a down jacket, my gadgets pouch, and on the other side I will put a rain jacket, 
And why not, my muesli? Here I just wanted to show you the bag protected by the included rain cover. One thing I was wondering is whether, once the panniers are extended, uh, I would have been able to release the clips of the bag. And I was pleased to see that even once opened, the bag can be removed and carried. So to conclude, having used the bag now for a few weeks, including a weekend trip with my Brompton, let me say that this is just a very interesting addition for transporting gear on my bike. I particularly like the fact that it's very, very quick uh, to fix and to remove from the rack. And having tested it on smooth as well as some gravel pads, uh, it's always kept the luggage uh, safe and steady, which is probably the most important thing uh, on a bike bag. On a side note, it has also helped me once to carry my shopping, so it is definitely a convenient bag for commuting in cities, or if you, for example, cycle to work, uh, extremely useful for that. Now, as you know, my channel is about traveling though with the Brompton, so the question remains, uh, is this a good option for touring? Now, the only downside I can think of is the limited space. Um, as we said, you know, it can only contain about 12 liters. So I think it depends on the kind of tour you're planning. When I tour, most of the space in my bags is actually taken by gear I need for camping. So if you're planning a tour where you're staying in a warm country and you're uh, staying at overnight in hotels, a large front bag and the Nash rack bag uh, are probably all the space you need to have a great adventure and some wonderful rides. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this review and uh, looking forward to seeing you again on one of my next videos. Bye for now.